Steve Dotto here. Glad you're spending time with me today. We are going to continue our lifelong pursuit of the perfect email solution today with a look at Dispatch, a brand new iOS email client. Now, Dispatch follows hard on the heels of a variety of these sorts of apps being launched over the last little while. We recently did a video on Mailbox, which has been bought by Dropbox, an excellent solution. There's a, a, you can watch our video on that. I still like that app a lot. It was the first app that I used that really gave me uh, control over what we're starting to call email triage. Uh, as we use email more and more, on our smartphones, we're starting to realize that the phone is not necessarily the best place to respond to long emails, but instead, it's a great place to sort your email prior to actually writing and doing a lot of uh, heavy lifting in the email. So you can sort and organize your email while you're on your phone, when you have a few minutes down, so that when you sit down at your computer, a lot of the pre-sorting is done. Now Dropbox does that by putting it into different folders for us and in, in creating kind of action items and a priority list out of your email. Does a great job of that. But where it falls short is in actually editing the email and when you're actually editing and sending the email. It doesn't do a great job in that area. Dispatch does a lot better job in that area. Now, having said that, I don't, uh, I don't myself spend a lot of time writing long emails on my phone. In fact, I write very little. I, I usually just, I usually dictate anything into my phone. But you'll see the tools in Dispatch really uh, kind of have raised the bar as far as what we can do on this tiny little screen that we have on our phone. So let me show you the app itself. Let's let's just jump onto my iPhone here and have a look. So here's Dispatch here, and when I launch Dispatch. What we see, and let me just go back into my main email inbox here. So there we go. When we look into my, my main email inbox here, we see that I can, if I swipe to the left, it's very similar to how Dropbox and how most of the other kind of email triage clients work. It allows me to then bring up a, in this case here, a pop-up menu that allows me to store the email, file it away, mark it as spam or trash it. So kind of quick actions at that point. It will also allow me, if I swipe all the way to the left, to archive it right away, which is the best way to kind of sort through things really quickly. It does a pretty good job here of this level of managing your email, although in my opinion, not quite as good a job as a mailbox does. Where this app really shines is when we open up that email, take a look at it, and start to deal with the email itself. And let me show you what we can do with the email within the, uh, within the editing interface. The first thing that we can do is highlight any piece of text and we can copy it. So it allows us to, to select the text. We can copy it, of course, but we can also create a quote so out of just a small little part of the text or the whole text, which allows us to quote it into the email that we're applying. Very useful as far as creating context and communication. But you see that tool right next to it? New Snippet. That's where this app really gets exciting. It allows me to create a snippet, which is basically the same sort of little text string as we use in Text Edit or Text Expander, excuse me. Text Expander is a great utility that I use on my Mac. Uh, we did a video on it just recently. Check it out. It it's a basically a macro tool, a keyboard macro tool that you can use to, to quickly enter uh, just a quick little character string, which will then paste in a large chunk of text. I also use it to correct the, my common typos that I make on an ongoing basis. And for me, it's been an absolute lifesaver. There's a sister product in Windows, so you people that use a Windows PC, never fear, you are also covered. But this actually uses the same snippets. You can import them back and forth from Text Expander into Dispatch, which I find really, really exciting. So once you've done that, and if you've copied it or or done any uh, or created a snippet, then you create your reply and they make it easy for you. They look at who wrote to you and they create a salutation right away. So you don't have to type in, hi, Lorraine in this particular case, it's already done that for me. So I'm gonna leave the salutation in and I can start to write. Of course, I can do my dictation. Oops. I'm glad that you wrote to me because I'm very interested in this product. So I can do that. I can do my voice dictation stuff, which all works great. But you look down here at the bottom of this screen. And if I just tap on that, it then pops up this little show snippets tool, which allows me to load in any snippets, to automatically paste in any snippets that I've already created. So if I've created a snippet that says, I'll be there in five minutes, or I'm on my phone, I don't really have time to respond to this email, but I will shortly, it allows me to do those sorts of things very quickly and very effectively and send the email. Now, as good as that is, and that is very good, it's not what made me 
decide to use this particular piece of software. Let me show you what really enamored me to this software. And if we look at the very bottom of the screen here in the, in the email reading window, we've got some of the same tools for moving forward and back and archiving and marking email. But at the far right, we have what we can do with it. Send this email to, make a reminder for, of it, that's a great tool. Send it to things, that's great, especially if you use things. Create an Asana task from it. Oh, that one there just, it warmed my heart. I, I use Asana all the time. It's my favorite team manager and task manager. So I can create a task directly out of my email and so often emails relate directly to tasks. So the ability to create a task directly from it, that is a massive productivity tool. And then, this one nearly brought tears to my eyes. I can send it to Evernote and not just send it to Evernote as an email into the Evernote inbox. Oh, no, no, no. It actually opens Evernote, launches it, and allows me to go in and apply tags and the other meta information that I like to add to all of my notes that allows me to then have real control over my Evernote notebook. This tool, Dispatch, is has risen really kind of to the top of the list of useful iOS mail apps as far as I'm concerned. There are there are other good contenders to be sure, but for me, Dispatch is well worth a few dollars that you're going to have to spend on it, especially uh, because of this Evernote integration. To me, that is just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I hope you found this video useful. We certainly appreciate you taking the time to, to, to view them. Uh, I'm Steve Dotto, and we'll see you again soon.